I smooth things over with the Grant Committee. If Lance Corporal Texador's fitting tomorrow goes well, we should be okay. That's fantastic, Doc. We're back on track. Provisionally, as long as our little incident escaped the mayor's attention. You'll be at the fitting tomorrow? Definitely. It'll go great. We're gonna change the world, Doc. I'll settle for not starting any more fires. See you tomorrow, Peter. Here's to a successful day. Attention units. Report received of a narcotics sale in progress. Officers near Gramercy, please report. Drug deals and criminals. They go together like cookies and milk. Not good. You guys said the bug was on vacation. Hey, guys. You got prescriptions for this stuff? puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow! That's considerate! What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? The only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker! <laughs> gotcha. Now let's talk. I said... Okay. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice! Shut enough!
like zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. And now for listener email. Made from Queens writes, you're so full of anger and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern, but this... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter. What can I do for you? Uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. 
And where did she find it? I'm really not sure. What, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. He kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. What about my dog? No problem. But always on a leash and never in a kitchen. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in the city.